He might look harmless, but this platypus, nicknamed Mr Feisty, can put up quite the fight. Jenny Forward learnt that lesson the hard way after spotting him on the side of the road. The poor thing was struggling to get down a storm water drain that was blocked, um, so it looked like it couldn't actually get off the road. So I instinctively just picked it up. Ms Forward soon realised the mistake she'd made when she felt the animal dig its spur into her hand. The most excruciating pain I've ever had in my whole life and I realised, then I remembered that platypus have, or male platypus have um, venomous spurs. One week on and she still feels the impact. And every day it's a little bit better but my arms are really tender to touch. Animal rescuers say they're regularly contacted by people who've come across injured wildlife on the road. It is a good reminder uh, to educate people that sometimes an animal doesn't need to be touched. Unless you see something's really wrong, don't presume it needs to be caught and give us a call first regardless. Wildlife rescuers say when it comes to keeping our native wildlife safe, it's important to be mindful of our driving behaviours too. They're urging drivers to slow down to ensure less injured animals end up in sanctuaries like this one. And the advice we'd give to people um, in a situation where they find an injured animal is just to make sure their safety is covered first. You make sure you can pull over, don't have hazard lights on in the middle of the road and cause an accident, make sure you can pull over and then call us. For Ms Forward, her advice is simple. Yeah, just don't go near male platypuses in mating season when their venom is um, most potent. <laughs> Isabella Podwinski, ABC News.